All right, Tony, it's the pre-show predictions. Pre-show predictions. Modesto, you're, uh, you're, Modesto, California. You're playing the Double Tree 7-Eleven Christmas Party. 7-Eleven Christmas Party. When What's I, your predictions for the show? First of all, when I got into comedy, I was always hoping and praying that I'd get to do a 7-Eleven Christmas Party in Modesto. Um, now that I'm finally here and I'm looking at the, uh, the audience that's going to be seeing the comedy show... Pre-show predictions is that I'm not going to do so well. <laughs> so, so you're already predicting you're going down in a blaze of glory. I have to keep it a little bit clean. I don't even think they were told that there's going to be a comedy show tonight. Uh, keeping it clean is tough for me, but I'm going to give Sam Tripoli a great intro, and that's the best. You open this thing up, and you can have any job in the world, right? Whatever you're into, you can find in this newspaper. You would think the dude ball that delivers these things would have a really sweet job by now, right? No, he's delivering a free job. Oh, did you kill? Did you take a beat? And what'd you, what, how, how do you feel? I don't feel good. Um, Pre-show predictions, I think I said that uh, I don't think it's going to go well. I wanted to set the expectation bar low, and I did that. I set the expectation bar low. And With your low expectations, did you even reach those low expectations? Not at all. You not went all. lower than your low expectations. I bombed on my low expectations, which were to bomb. I bombed the bomb. Would you say that your act wasn't even... What you did tonight, could that qualify as comedy? Uh, I, I'd call it... Or just it. bad poetry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, Probably bad poetry, yeah. It was bad poetry that didn't rhyme. No. And also wasn't funny. Did you do a stand-up set or did you do your one-man show? What I was... think I did my one-man show. I almost did some Barry Diamond singing. <laughs> I almost asked the DJ to get the song rolling for me. Let but... me ask you one quick question. After the show, when I'm getting paid and, everyone, and they ask me to um, come back next year... Um, what did he say to you? What did the guy who paid us say? What did he say to you? You're getting better. Now, he said you're getting better. Now, has he ever seen you? Uh, no. He so. hasn't seen me. And also, when I was in the restroom after my show, after your show, I was in one of the stalls using the restroom, and two guys, I overheard this exact conversation. Uh, I was getting nervous there. I thought that first guy was going to be the comedian for the night. So who, uh, who was the first guy? That was me. I no? brought up, yeah, absolutely. Let me ask you something. Are you going to give up? Absolutely not. Are you going to keep I'm, swinging? I'm going to make myself feel better. We're on our way to the comedy store now. I'm going to tell everybody that I killed. Make up for uh, the empty, empty, empty pocket that's deep within my soul. Do you uh, look forward to your 7-Eleven Indian Christmas party again? Absolutely. We got invited back after uh, all that. Later, buddy.